So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. So, as you know, I'm M. Night Shyamalan's ghostwriter. Right, I've been meaning to ask you a question about that. Oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. I don't know if this is inappropriate, but how, how, how'd you die? That's not what ghostwriting means. Oh, okay. Anyway, so we're gonna start the movie with this guy rendering this dad unconscious in a parking lot and kidnapping three teenage girls. Oh, boy. Yeah, and we're gonna find out that he had been following these two girls for four days. Wait, you said there were three girls? Yeah, he kind of just grabbed the third girl, Casey, because she was in the car too. If he's been following these girls for four days, why would he attack when there's a grown man and another girl there? Because this is when the movie starts. I guess that makes sense. It does. So anyway, these three girls are gonna wake up in a room together and they're all super kidnapped. Wow. So then throughout the movie, we're gonna see them try to escape, you know, each time not advancing the plot whatsoever. Gotta fill up that runtime somehow. And eventually the kidnapper's gonna get fed up and put them in separate rooms. Why wouldn't he have done that in the first place? I don't know. And so is this the whole movie? movie just a guy kidnaps three girls? No, I didn't even get to the cool part of the premise yet. Oh, okay. Stop pressuring me. Oh my god. So anyway, it turns out that the kidnapper is this guy Kevin who has disassociative identity disorder. Okay, like multiple personalities? Exactly. So he's gonna have 23 different personalities. Oh, wow. Of which we'll see like seven or eight. Oh, I wowed harder than what was appropriate. And every time an alter takes control, he changes clothes and acts like a different person. Hmm. What's wrong? You don't seem excited. Well, I mean, one guy puts on several outfits and acts like he's different people. It's kind of a stupid idea. How come my own feelings hurt? I don't know, sir. I feel like people might be into it. Well, okay. So what else happens in the movie? Well, apparently a couple of the alters are trying to get a new alter on board. This thing called the Beast. Oh, that sounds scary. Yeah, we're gonna explain that sometimes people with DID can change their physiology by believing they're somebody else. Eesh, must have been hard to explain that in a natural way. Actually, it was super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, I just introduced the character Dr. Exposition. Dr. Exposition? Yeah, Dr. Exposition is Kevin's psychologist, and she's there to explain things. That's her whole role in the movie. Oh, interesting. Yeah, at a certain point, we're gonna have her straight up give a seminar of exposition via Skype. Oh, exposition seminars are tight. Anyway, she's getting worried because some of the alters are emailing her saying they need to meet urgently. Okay. And so one of the alters is gonna pretend to be another alter and go visit her to pretend everything's fine. Feels like it would have been easier to just email her and cancel the appointment. Yeah, but then we want to get that sweet exposition. Oh, okay, gotcha. And so yeah, throughout the movie, more and more alters are gonna email her for appointments as things get crazier. Wait, if they're able to email her, why don't they explain the situation? Apparently the only email they're able to type is one asking for appointments. Very limited typing abilities. Anyway, back to the main character, Casey, we're gonna learn through flashbacks that she was abused by her uncle. Oh no. Yeah, and so that's really gonna add some depth to the character. And what about the other two girls? What's their deal? Oh, well, their deal is that they're present. Oh. Yeah, they're, you know, in the movie. Well, good for them, I guess. And so finally, Dr. Exposition is gonna realize that something's really off. So she calls the cops? No, she goes to visit Kevin alone. Of course she does. Yeah, and she's gonna see one of the kidnapped girls, so he's gonna lock her up. Oh boy. And she's gonna scribble a note saying that if you say Kevin's full name, it brings his original self to the surface. Oh, that's very good to know. Yeah, and then the beast is gonna come in and kill her. Wait, how come she doesn't say his name? Because she's not the main character. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, later Casey's gonna say the full name, but it's only gonna work for a minute. Oh. We're also gonna have Casey stumble upon a computer and see that it has 23 different video files from all the different personalities on the desktop. Video files? Yeah, you know, like daily video diaries? All 23 of his very different personalities make video logs and each put one on the desktop of this computer? That's what we're going with. Why would they do that, though? For this scene. Oh, it's for us. Okay, that's nice. And then Casey's gonna shoot the beast, but he's gonna be okay because he evolved and stuff. Right, the thing that's been said the whole movie ends up happening. Happening. Yeah, and then he's about to kill her, but he sees that she has a bunch of scars. Okay. So he's like, oh, you've experienced pain, so I'm not gonna kill you. Wow, well, thank God her uncle abused her. Wait, what's the message of this movie? And then the beast is gonna run away. Oh, wow, and what happens? I just told you. That's how it ends, he runs away. That seems unsatisfying and incomplete. Yeah, but then we're gonna cut to a diner and reveal, you know, Bruce Willis. What are you talking about? That's the big twist. This was actually a sequel to Unbreakable. Remember that movie? Kind of. I mean, it came out like 16 years ago. Well, the people that remember it are gonna be real surprised. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be confused as to why Bruce Willis is showing up. Yeah, well, other people will kind of lean over and explain Whisper to them them in the theater. I guess they'll have to. And the whole thing is like a tease for another sequel. I don't know, man. The whole thing feels kind of shoehorned in. I'm not gonna greenlight another sequel based on a twist ending. Okay, I just thought, you know, you might want to have your own 
superhero cinematic universe. Did you just say superhero cinematic universe? Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. If you did, let me know in the comments section what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. We also have a lot more of these videos on the channel. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and share on Facebook and Twitter. Just start hitting all the buttons, except hopefully dislike. And as always, check back soon for a new pitch meeting. Bye-bye.